Hey there, this is Tyler Bunnell with Massage. I'd like to take you on a quick tour of our application, Divi. Divi's a fantastic little app that allows you to quickly and efficiently divvy up your workspace into exact portions. So let's start off with a simple example. I've got a Safari window here and I'd like to make it full screen. We all know how annoying this little green button is, so let's fix that real quick. Here's the main Divi panel. This is where you do your window management. Just click, drag, and let go. How about centering Safari? That's pretty simple too. You know, before we go any further, I need to assign the global Divi shortcut real quick. Let's open up the Divi panel and flip over to the preferences. In here, you can enable or disable a global shortcut that will bring up the Divi panel. I personally like Shift Command Space. Now, if you hit that combo, the panel will show and hide. Let's say I'm taking some notes, doing some research online. I have these notes being typed up in text edit while I'm researching them in Safari. Instead of swapping back and forth between windows, I'm going to set it up so I can do both. First, we'll click on Safari, then bring up Divi. Let's give it, say, a little over half the screen. Next, click on Text Edit, bring up Divi again, and give it the rest of your screen. Now I'm all set to browse on the left and type on the right. All right, let's do the same thing as last time, but this time we'll create shortcuts to handle it. First, we'll bring up the Divi panel. Next, click the Preferences button. Now, click the Shortcuts tab up top. So here's the shortcut list. Let's create our first shortcut. Click the New button and you'll be taken into the shortcut editor. The first thing we'll do is give it a name. We'll call this one 66% left. Next, assign the keyboard shortcut that we'll press later. Let's just stick with the number one. Now, drag out your selection and hit Accept. There's the first shortcut created, but we need a second. Click New again. This time, name it 33% right. Let's assign it to the number 2 and drag out our selection. We've got our two shortcuts made. Now let's do that previous example using our new shortcut. First, select Safari and bring up Divi. Hit the 1 key. Now, choose Text Edit, bring up Divi again, and hit the 2 key. By the way, these shortcuts are only active if the Divi panel is showing. We did it that way so you could be free to assign any key combination you wanted without having it interfere with other applications. You might have noticed that it's a bit of a hassle to bring up Divi every time you want to work with a new window. Don't worry, we thought of that too. Pop over to Preferences and choose Keep Panel Open Until Dismissed. Now, go back to the main panel and let's try this again. We hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Divi. Why don't you download it and try it out for yourself? We promise you'll love it as much as we do. Thanks for watching.